Hello guys, RC Shim here in the hangar and today we have a 5.8 video diversity receiver on the bench FR632 got the scent from TomTop yeah, it looks like a pretty standard receiver I'm curious how it will perform against the Immersion RC Duo 5.8 uh, what's nice about this unit it's it's really small compared to my to my hand it comes with two standard rubber duck antennas which are of no real use for us and it's the standard antenna plug like we have it on the immersion RC spiral nets so your standard SMA antennas will fit in here not the reversed polarity SMA that some of the Chinese vendors use so this is good we can use our normal antennas the nice thing about this unit is you have a display the nice thing about this device it has two buttons scanner group mode and power on power off if you hold the scan button for two seconds one and two it is scanning all the channels and it will halt where it gets the best signal so that's quick and easy and the other button if you press it for two seconds you turn it on or off and with a short press you will just change the channels short press here makes a group change it, it it's named FR632 which implies yeah 32 channels but it has 40 channels which is nice the power range is 6 volts to 28 volts which is really cool so we can use 2 cell to 5 or 6 cell I don't know so yeah nothing special pretty standard unit we will have to test it on the field uh, how it performs I have built myself an XT60 plug here or adapter. Yeah, the one, one thing that would have been even nicer if they would have used the standard, I'm not sure what it is, 5mm plug. Instead, they use a really small plug, but it's the same polarity. So, yeah, I'm you get you get this cable here i made an xt60 plug here and i made me this little adapter so i can either plug in um, a battery here or i can connect this and use one of my this is my wall charger or i use a cable tree that i'm using this wider connectors with. I'm here on the Eichberg, my favorite testing grounds, especially uh, in the winter time when the sun gets low fast. It's now about four o'clock in the afternoon. But the main testing reason was the new video receiver. It's the FR632. Yeah, one small issue with this thing being so small, uh, there's not much space between the two antenna ports so I had to mount the patch antenna here upside down which shouldn't be an issue I hope uh, but this way it really works great um, have it on the tripod mounted here oriented it about the ways of the hills here and it really worked great so so far without doing any real measurements about the distance um, yeah i've seen it behaving or working just like my immersion duo 58 so in an upcoming video i will do a huge comparison video where you will see how the the video receivers uh, influence the video range you get so i will be using different receivers with the same antennas and the other test would of course be how the different antennas perform on, on the best of the receivers. So you then should get about the best uh, possible range if you choose those components. But for the moment 
I'm quite happy with this $50 diversity receiver. Tom Top sent me this for a review. Yeah, pretty basic. Yeah, one thing that didn't work as, as announced is this, this uh, scan mode. It does scan and it brings you an image, but it was not the exact uh, frequency I'm using. So it's better if you know your frequency uh, to set it manual because I'm on 58.40 and he, he got me to 58.28 or something like that or 38. So not the exact frequency on another band. I had image with a little static, so you shouldn't use this of course. So if you know your frequency, uh, you know the numbers. The, the nice thing is that you have a little display that shows the numbers on it. So yeah, but as I told so far, working good not sure how the long range guys would be happy with this uh, for this i have to test it with with uh, with a good and trusty setup and i also wanted to test the bullet further with new bl heli firmware on the scs and so far it really worked great well Okay, so thanks for watching this little review. Hope you liked it. Bye for now.